Here on Dan, my friend brought you a gift for you. One of their own. Uh, thanks. I did not want to be brought to Bone Zone by the kid. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> well, <laughs> wow, that's literally a Bone Zone. <laughs> so, are you, are we, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> he throws himself out the window. <laughs> so, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of our friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guess I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. Hopes I will never. Dreams. Sorry, I had to. Yeah, it's okay. We add that to the counter now. <laughs> <laughs> I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Wait, how many times have I interrupted you? I have no idea. That's what I, that's what editing's for. I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> we better. I, I kind of get this hoping hoping that it's not six though. Because I'm because after <laughs> that we're going to have to wait for us. Another... Okay, 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 okay. What? I was trying to interrupt you so it wouldn't be six. <laughs> you know, that could be the sixth one! Boom! But anyway, dang, what a shame! I thought Undyne would be your be friends with you. Never! But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? Oh, what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. It's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Um, okay. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! <laughs> um, why not just point? You can use the spear. Undyne and press Z. Seriously? Yes! Why? Do it! Are you... hitting on me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes he is. Okay. So I just pick one. I'm not sexy. I date her. Alright, I want hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgard kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. It's not my fault that hot chocolate is so fucking difficult for Tears. my beard. Soda. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you point to do it, you don't look happy. Heh, that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh, why don't I have it? Sugar? I disagree! That's sugar for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? I'm the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with spear energy spheres? Are they ice cream songs of blood to destruction? Is that it? No. I kind of want to say yes just to figure out what the hell she's going to say. Can I say yes? Sure, if you want to. What? Really? 
<laughs> that rules! <laughs> okay, let's try T-Box. T is the blatantly correct choice. What? What? T is the blatantly correct choice. Oh, okay. I'm not even kidding. If you paid attention when you pointed at the T-Box, it, it says blatantly the correct choice. Oh, okay. T, huh? Coming right up. Take a moment for the water to boil. So, a uh, big question about this Flowey in the genocide route, though. Does he, like, remember the pacifist route we did? Uh-uh. I thought you said he remembered save files. He does. He makes you believe after a pacifist run. Your voice is glitched out for a second. You try repeating that again. He begs for you to delete his memories if you complete a passive run and then reset. So you delete his memories of the passive run when you reset. Why? Are we still recording? Yeah. Don't worry, I Just can edit that check. out. Okay, it's all done. Uh, well, um, trust me, you'll see why after we finish this ending. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. Really? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphius, uh, emphius on tried. Emphasis. No, oh, emphasis. I couldn't land a single blow on him, and worse than, worse than the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Oh wait, this is you. Oh wait, uh, no wait, this is me doing an impression of you. Alright. Excuse, excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen him more proud to get their butt kicked. I probably messed something up that well. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets the trained dorks to fight. Like a papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let the pirates into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. I know that. Oh my god, his fight. It's just that he's... he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I couldn't... I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into the little smiley shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he, he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some right- some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lessons. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. What the hell? Why is there music playing all this time? That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! That if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than he than you can ever imagine. Oh, afraid? 
we're going to be best friends. Prepare yourself for the most intense cooking lesson you have ever had. I had a 92 in I had a 92 in cooking class. I can pass this without further ado. Let's start with the sauce. Envision, envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah! Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As you generally rule a bomb, the, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. Harder. The proceed as hard as I can. Uh, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, for now the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold the right. Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too. Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I, I understand if you, tr if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I could destroy you without regret. What? I have de been defeated. My house is in shambles. I failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out of all out of both sides. It's the only way to regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. What? I still do damage if I pretend. What? That's the best you can manage? You went attacking a full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? Huh. Uh, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated you, your stupid scrawny shtick, but the way you hate me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are, are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can pursue him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. Oh, well, technically she swore down, that's hell. That's yeah. what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house.
Oh my god, our house is crying, technically. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time, but uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out, hang out with Iris. So if you need me to drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give a virus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to him. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is a sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be... I'll be... Come see when you have less stuff. God damn it. Ah, crap. Sorry, that was my fault. I didn't tell you to put everything up. Put stuff. Oh. Do I just, just, just one? Just one. Okay. Oh, shit. How All much right. money do you got? What? How much money do you got? Um, about 38. 38, okay. It's enough? Uh, just wondering, because you might need to buy some healing items for the true lab. Oh, wait, do I want to save? Mm, sure. Oh. Oh, I, where do I go now? Yeah, I'm not doing the determination shtick anymore. Yeah, we're, we're way over that, everybody, now. Right. Where, where do we go? Where, where right. We? Right, okay. Go back to the Rivermen. Or Riverwoman. I'm just gonna call them the Rivermen. Call it the river. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Boat person, okay? Go to Snowden. And we're off. <laughs> what? It's Jesus. It's the Jesus dog board. Tra la la. Temi village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Lantern room. That doesn't sound nice. It's a village full of Timmies. Oh. 